Yo, call me Sonic Mania the way I don't got a nut and explain to you. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates. Today, and only today, we are here to talk about Sonic Mania 2. That's right, we have the official answer to what happened, what went down, where is it, and what, 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 what went down. And of course, if you would like more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to your boy, support the content, all that jazz. So, Sonic Mania 2, the thing that made the most sense in this world after the insane success of Sonic Mania, I mean, I, you, would see, you would think to this day, one of the most best reviewed Sonic games one of the most beloved from the fans you would think you know the, the relationship with Christian White and the team would have led to an automatic easy sequel easy money years ago even but we were left signs but today we have the official answer and it is honestly a better one than you think so thanks to Game Informer's coverage of Sonic Superstars they have actually given us the answer so let's get right into it in 2021 reports from a gaming insider is Zippo service that internal plans to create a true successor Sonic Mania had been scrapped due to differences between in Sonic Mania's external developers in Sega. While not directly confirming or commenting that particular report, Izuka confirms that he had talks with Whitehead following the release of Mania. So, right away, you know, we have the debunk of this, this long-time rumor that sort of became like its own, like it almost became a fact almost that this is what happened. We're like, that the studio that worked on Mania just, you know, they were like, ah, they got into a beef with Sonic Team about what's going on and everything, and then they ended up going and making their own studio. But we know that's not the case, so we're going to get more into this right now. There was a period after development of Sonic Mania where we worked with the team to consider concepts for the next generation of Classic Sonic, Izuka says. It's too bad that they didn't come to a finished game. Still, I'm pleased that the next gen of Classic Sonic that we talked about them with them has been achieved through Super Sonic. So there definitely was a discussion. There, there was definitely the idea of, hey, let's make a Mania tour. Let's continue with you guys, right? But stuff fell through, and we can all honestly talk a little bit more about that, right? One major hurdle to providing a true successful to Sonic Mania, to success of Sonic Mania, is that Izuka and Sonic Team want to move away from the pixel art graphics with the next title in the classic Sonic series. When you make a 2D game music pixel art, you are kind of end up targeting a very specific core audience, he says. We want to bring this game to as many people as possible, and in order to really make it look and feel as appealing to the wider audiences, we need to use the three the assets to really give it the current look but we do know that core fans want that old classic sonic look they want that old classic sonic feel so we focus on making sure the controls are solid and the look and that the feel is really representative of classic sonic games that's definitely the major point and yeah look i can understand this right because pixel art as much as i love it and i know a lot of the hardcore fans love pixel art to a lot of casual gamers out there sprites and pixel art you know indicate old you know people think oh that's just an old game remaster oh like i want games to look crazy i mean I know friends, like very close friends, um, that what's it called? They they like when games are, you know, crazy good looking graphics or like 3D mods and stuff. Like Pixel Art is something that, yeah, us the hardcore we like and appreciate and want to see more of but when you really think of the grand scheme of things is not something that appeals to the mass audiences which is why you know it kind of died in the first place right people just want things to look modern and and honestly i don't really mind that i would have loved the new sonic mania with you know sprite work and everything that would have been phenomenal imagine like a game that was all new levels and zones and it was all sprite based it would have been insane but you know alas we could take the hit there and you know i could be like listen at least you got superstars and honestly superstars graphically looks so good has such a nice identity because it's almost like it looks modern but like again the characters look perfectly classic in a way and like the, the the lighting is so good the backgrounds and everything like it's definitely not a low effort project it looks like they put a lot of money into how those 3d models should look whitehead backs up this story with his own recounting of the events when we started up evening star it was our goal to move beyond 2d pixar into 3d games and develop all new original ip he says evening star did work with sega to explore directions of classic sign could go out to mania Sonic mania 2 is never in development though because we actually agreed early on that we should try to make something fresh like hand-drawn 2 2D or 2.5D. At the same time, Evening Star Studio is developing our new Star Engine, so we also ended up making some Sonic prototype that played with the depth in 2.5D and some other gameplay ideas. Fuck! I would have loved to see what's called this happen. I would have loved to see this prototype. I would love to see what the idea they had meant. A 2D hand-drawn Sonic would have fucking looked incredible I'm, I'm definitely that's that's definitely the one that bums me out the most for sure it's like there's something about hand drawn that hits so different that would have looked so fantastic and also at the same time like seeing a 2.5d sonic would have been really cool you know it's sort of like 3d with the with background environments or like you know he's 2d or like the camera shit stuff like i don't know i would have loved to see something like that kind of, kind of like that fan game um what's it called sonic freedom or something that like tries to look like the sonic cd interest something like that would have been 
fire. And man, like that's just that one hurts me the most. Um, I hope one day maybe we see this prototype, kind of like they dropped that Nitro Sonic Mobile game that never came out. But yeah, I would ah. Uh, Ah, man. I'm also glad Evening Star Studio ended up making their own thing. I mean, you look at that game, Penny's Big Breakout A. That was in a Nintendo Direct, and it looks awesome. You know, the yo-yo concept, you can tell there's... There, there, you can tell definitely the Sonic influence. They got T-Lopes on the soundtrack. They got, you know, cool momentum-based platforming and everything. So, I'm glad they ended up doing their own thing. Why that also dashed away one of the big points of speculations that Sonic Mania 2 failing was the result of bad blood between Sega and members of Evening Star. Contrary to many rumors, we remain friendly relationships with Sega and hope fans are pumped to play both games once they release. To me, honestly, that's kind of a really good thing because one, this means a door is open. You know what I mean? I think this means that, hey, if there was a day they were like, you know what, guys, do you guys want to try something with Sonic? Hey, maybe now that you guys are familiar with 3D platformers, you could work on, you know, an old school type Sonic game. Imagine a game that had sort of like the Sonic R look modernized in some way, you know, or Sonic, you know, bring back Sonic 3D Blast or make it like a cool, like genuinely sick looking game with like that camera angle and stuff. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like it's a good thing that, you know, that team is working on a 3D platform because maybe, you know, obviously when they've done a lot of, of their own stuff, they can be like, you know what, fuck it, we, we are down to take the helm of our own 3D Sonic. Though Whitehead and his team aren't involved with Sonic Superstars, the influence of their work and ideas is apparent. A lot of things that we talked about with Christian, you know, let's make a visual rich game that's on Pixar, let's do the Mania thing. Let's not do the Mania thing of reusing stuff. Let's make something brand new and new levels. That's where the start of the concept thing happened after Mania. But everything came to a stop, Izuka says. When we kicked off Sonic Superstars with Oshima's team, a lot of the conversations that we had with Christian were already in our heads, and we did start creating a new game already in the similar vein. Let's make something new, and let's make something not pixel so honestly like this is kind of a big deal where like yeah i mean i feel like sonic mania 2 basically lives on superstars there was always the idea of hey we're gonna have all new zones and we don't want to do pixel art you know so that spirit is in sonic superstars even beyond some concepts seemingly make it possible to jump from early mania 2 concepts to superstars sonic mania's success was instrumental in the creation of superstars during mania's development i didn't expect this level of fan reaction or success izuka says that success created the opportunity to think about the next gen of classic sonic and led to superstars sonic mania helped us realize that fans still want and enjoy the classic series. I really don't think people realize in general how much classic Sonic is popular and also I don't think people realize in general also like how big Superstars is gonna be. I'm not saying it's gonna be the biggest game in the world or anything. I'm just saying that like this really is like I, I feel like maybe there's sometimes a perception that because it's called Superstars and not called Sonic 5 or, or Pixar or something that like it's just gonna be like you know oh it's kind of like an eShop digital title you know where it's like gonna you know take an hour or two and I'm done all right but I, I really do think they are putting everything in this to be a true successor to the original games you know and honestly like this really is if you think about this this really is the purest new 2d classic sonic game since what the originals really since, since sonic 3 and knuckles and cd and all those games you know because sonic 4 was modern sonic right and mania was half remixes i mean i guess you could half count it but even then if you're talking about a full original title with just 2d classic sonic this really is the only one because we've had a bunch of modern 2D Sonic games and all that. So having this is kind of a big deal. Continuing on here, on Twitter, Whitehead has provided further confirmation that he approved of the work being done in Superstars with one retweet about the game's physics uh, with a thumbs up emoji containing another tweet saying, we will have more to say on this when it's appropriate, but the mania physics were indeed fully translated to modern 3D. Despite Whitehead's confirmation that this work was done, Izuka says the programming is completely unique to Superstars, created from the ground up by Arzus. The team referenced not only Mania, but we referenced Sonic 1, 2, 3 Mania when we were creating Superstars. The game was created from zero, from absolutely nothing, but we were still looking at all the four classic games and creating physics that are going to match and feel what classic Sonic needs to be from scratch. When we were talking about the classic series and now we're referencing the physics, those are the four titles we are looking for. Looking at, I'm done. Because of all that, Sonic Superstars looks to not just be Sonic Mania 2 that's envisioned or expected, but instead a spiritual successor. The physics play much like the fans of Sonic Mania and other classic Sonic games play, but with modern visuals and other various features. Sonic Superstars set to arrive on all platforms Blah, blah 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 but yeah i mean we have the answer now i mean that's what happened to sonic mania 2 it's alive you know it it pretty much is alive in here it just lives 
through Sonic Super Studs, which is why I think the game is going to be such a bigger deal than a lot of us even think. You know, I really do think it's a game that's going to really please the fans. Again, I played it. It feels exactly like a classic Sonic game. We've seen a lot of the game in former coverage. We've seen footage. It's like this game, I hope, is going to be one of the best in the season. I honestly don't see a world where it isn't. I mean, is it going to beat a game like Sonic 3 and Knuckles? I don't know. Could it beat Mania? Absolutely. You know, if it's all new sprites and levels, uh, not sprites, if it's all new levels and zones and has great replay value and customization, all this stuff, like, I feel like we are about to have a banger game. And I'm just, I'm very happy, you know, to see that not only is the relationship between, you know, Christian Whitehead and Evening Star good with Sega that opens potential doors, but I also like the idea that, like, yeah, this was never that big of a deal that Mania 2, you know, didn't happen by them because there was always the vision to make, you know, the next game be all new zones and not sprite based. Is it sad that we don't get something that's like hands on because I would have adored that? Yeah, do I hope we see it one day? Absolutely, but for the most part, Sonic Mania 2 lived on thank you all for watching let me know if you like today's video if you're if are you happy with the result of sonic superstars let me know and of course i'll see you all next time peace out